So as COVID closed up commerce all around, boarded up businesses have become a familiar sight on the streets of Seattle. But thanks to local artists, ordinary plywood have become canvas for incredible murals all across our city. Marty Griswold of One Reel talks about working to preserve this historic display of public art. We're really proud of it, and it all came out of this art safety program that we had started a while ago, but uh, we really, you know, kind of honed it in for the COVID-19 during during the pandemic, and we started emerging from uh, the stay-at-home order, and we started realizing there was incredible art everywhere around the city, and so we decided it was someone had to, you know, basically capture it, right? Because mm -hmm. it's going to be coming down uh, as business open businesses opened up and nobody would know what to do with it, you know? And so uh, we sent a photographer around and captured over 300 pieces uh, that were around the city. It's a really amazing collection of work. And I think it's really historic too, you know? It's, it's like, historic and it was so timely. Like my favorite, it's, I'm ashamed to say this kind of, but my favorite was Tiger King, the Tiger King mural, because it was so timely. Right, it was perfect. It was kind of capturing the whole zeitgeist at the moment, right? It's like, and that's the thing, it's like, well, we were all binge watching TV and I was for sure. Um, those artists were out there creating incredible art, right? And um, and, and and tapping into pop culture and, and words of encouragement for the community and, and just beauty all the way around. I know when I came out of the stay at home you know order and started looking around and saw just really positive messages it made me feel a lot better about mm -hmm. myself and about what we were going through that it was like you weren't alone anymore you were part of a community right i complete i could not agree with you more because it did feel like we were all together in this when seeing those murals and speaking of wonderful things to be done let's talk about art saves me how what do you all do and what have you achieved so far art saves me is a, a program that's under the uh, One Reel umbrella. And One Reel has been around since 1972. And, um, you know, primarily we're known for Bumper Shoot and Pianos in the Parks, which are is our big, okay. two big events of the year. Um, you know, this spring, we realized pretty quickly that we weren't going to have a lot of summertime events. <laughs> and so, um, you know, as we were going into the stay-at-home order, we were looking for ways to engage and, and, and really still support the arts community. Well, Art Saving was about, the, it's all about the transformative power of art and connecting with artists in a new way and having them connect with the community on social issues, uh, you know, um, personal challenges, you know, that, that we all face. It's like things yeah. like that. And so when, when COVID-19 hit, we just thought this is a really, this just seems very perfect for this. And so we... We jumped really quickly and put together a call for grants, and we gave out five uh, grants to um, five five really wonderful artists, and um, from every di discipline, from dance to theater to music to visual arts, and um, and really and let them just take it and run with it. And so, within about fourteen days, about two weeks, we had. Uh, done the call to artists and we actually awarded the grants, which is unheard of in the nonprofit world, right? <laughs> and we really moved on. Because we knew we had to. And yeah. we connected with, uh, you know, we put together a really quick board that uh, from the community that would uh, the, the panel that actually looked at every single one of the the grant submissions and they all did it remotely and we were having zoom conferences to discuss it and um i'm just amazed at what, what a great job they did in selecting the artists and so um so that was the first phase and then we were planning on launching the artsavesme.org site mm -hmm. specifically to showcase that artwork when we started coming out of the stay at home and i saw all the murals and i was like okay we have to do two things. <laughs> what a perfect way to do it. And right now, from what I understand, you guys are focusing on the Black Lives Matter movement. Tell us about that exposition and, yep. and who's going to benefit from that support. Yeah, well, you know, I think this is really important and it's really a, a matter that's, you know, it's hugely important to, you know, to this time right now. And, mm -hmm. um, and we wanted to be able to figure out a way to give back. And there are it's an incredible artwork out there for the Black Lives Matter movement. And so we've been working on an exhibit that we'll be launching within a few days uh, that's uh, primarily all uh, you know, Black Lives Matter murals and um, all donations that come through the website um, will go to Black Lives Matter um, through the month of August. So, uh, and, and that's the thing is we're trying to raise money for artists and any of the donations that we gather through the website um, go to directly to artists. So, or to 
or to the uh, cause that they're they're behind. And so, um, you know, we're still in the midst of reaching out to all the artists, but so far everybody's been wonderful to like uh, let us um, showcase their art. And because you know, it's not our art; we're just showcasing it for them, right. trying to get the, you know give them a little bit more exposure. Oh, what a great platform that you know everyone can share in. And from what I understand, you said you also supply the medium for people to create this art, right? In recent developments, we've been working with a, a group called Paint to Change. And um, because we wanted to figure out a way to be able to channel those funds directly to artists. And so they're helping us. We're going to be paint, um, buying paint supplies. Um, and they'll be helping us distribute them to different mural artists around the, the city. And we're also helping them try to find um, platforms. It's like, or, or you know, mur uh, mural space. because. Right. I guess the positive part of COVID was that all those windows were boarded up. So there was all this huge, like, you know, basically. Um, Canvases everywhere. Exactly. And so they've all disappeared. And so what we want to do is try and find more spaces like that, that, uh, that, that will allow artists to, to you know, uh, to be creative.